Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 871 and it's our favorite D4 contest. So the problem, the second problem is Blank Space but uh, it has nothing to do with uh, Taylor Swift's famous song Blank Space. So let's quickly see what the problem states. Uh, the problem states that you will be given a set of uh, n elements in the array. It's like a binary array, it can contain only zeros and ones. And they are telling that uh, there is a blank space in the array. Blank space means a set of continuous zeros is called as blank space. So we need to find what is the maximum uh, size, maximum set of consecutive zeros in the binary array. So like there are obviously many multiple ways to solve it. So whenever we see this problem, like uh, if you're a beginner, you will always think like we'll store this in an array and we'll check whether the uh, elements are uh, consecutive or not. Like a of i equal to equal to i plus one and a of i equal to equal to zero, then we'll take the maximum element. But here, uh, the only thing that we can optimize here is the space complexity. We are not storing anything in the array. So whenever we get a number, directly we'll calculate it in bigger of one space we used to, let's see whether we can able to get the solution. So uh, the input will be like this, right? N will be given for you and uh, array will be given. So what here we can do is, uh, there is nothing to think, think about, you can just directly view it. So if it is zero, you have a temporary counter variable. If it is zero, you increment the counter by one. If it is one, you make the counter variable as zero. Then if it is one, you make the counter variable as zero. If it is zero, you make the counter variable as one. You, If it is again zero, you increment the counter variable. That is two, you increment the counter variable zero. If again zero, you increment the counter variable. If one comes, you reset the counter value. Again, you reset. If it is zero, you increment the counter value. Now we got all the things right. What is the blank space here? The maximum blank space is this is there, but the maximum blank space is the one that is having four. So uh, while traversing itself, how do you uh, catch that? You can use a variable called as maxi or something here. Then you can put the counter variable and max value. So when one comes one comma maxi, max value will be one now. Then zero is not taken, one is the max value, then two becomes the max value, then three becomes the max value, then four becomes the max value. So max is preserved while traversing. So let's see this with the help of the code. So what did I do is, uh, we'll take all the elements, B represents the array element and uh, B equal to equal to one. So B equal to equal to one means temp represents the counter value here. Whenever I see one, I may mark the counter. I reset the counter value. If it is zero, I increment the counter value, 10 plus plus like that. It just keeps incrementing. So one, 10 plus plus, it becomes two, three, four. For else, value, for else condition, it is uh, B as zero, okay? And what is max equal to max of temp comma maxi doing? Here maxi represents uh, the maximum value that is stored. So uh, initially it will be one here. Then if two comes maxi will be two, three comes it will be four like that. Again, if one comes here, it don't go here because uh, the maximum value is still the same. So we get the maxi value and we print it. So uh, the code is actually accepted as you see here and uh, this is the solution number. So once the hacking phase is over, I'll post the code link in the description. So that's it guys. Thank you. We'll see for the next uh, problem on code forces.